it's important to make healthy choices in your diet before you even get pregnant. About a month before you plan on beginning to try and get pregnant, it's important to start taking a prenatal vitamin with folic acid. This is important because it helps lower the risk of neural tube defects like anencephaly and spina bifida. It's also important to avoid excessive amounts of caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine has been associated with an increased risk of miscarriage. And the safe limit is approximately two eight ounce cups of coffee a day or about 300 milligrams. It's also important to avoid excessive amounts of alcohol when you're trying to get pregnant. And from the time in your cycle when you're ovulating until the onset of your period, it's probably safest to avoid it completely. A healthy diet is important not only to keep the mom healthy, but it's also important to ensure that the baby gets the necessary nutrients. Obviously, it's important for women to continue their prenatal vitamins throughout the duration of their pregnancy. It's also important to increase your caloric intake by 300 calories a day in the second and third trimesters. The requirements for calcium and protein go up in pregnancy. And for vegetarians, you can meet these increased protein requirements by using soy protein and dairy. Increased iron is also important to avoid becoming anemic. For most women, the prenatal vitamin will supply all the iron that they need. And of course, once a woman becomes pregnant, it's very important that she understand that no amount of alcohol is considered safe. Fetal alcohol syndrome is a leading cause of mental retardation, and it's completely preventable. And it should be noted also that there have been cases of fetal alcohol syndrome or fetal alcohol effects in babies where this, the exposure was seemingly minimal. Well, the things that you don't eat when you're pregnant are just as important as the things that you do eat. Um, caffeine is um, very common in, in most people's diets, and it's important to understand that although the experts differ slightly in their opinion on a safe amount, a good rule of thumb is that in the first trimester, approximately 100 milligrams a day is considered safe. In the second and third trimesters, that can be increased to no more than 300 milligrams a day. And just to give you an idea of how much that is, eight ounces of coffee has about 150 milligrams of caffeine, and eight ounces of tea or soda has about 50 milligrams. Uh, it's important to avoid foodborne illnesses as well. Seafood should be consumed in no more than two six ounce meals of a low mercury fish per week. Some examples would be salmon, shrimp, and catfish. High mercury fish like shark, king mackerel, tilefish, and swordfish should be avoided completely during pregnancy. Local fish is safe but should be limited to one six ounce meal per week with no other fish being consumed that week. It's important to avoid raw meat during pregnancy and processed and deli meats should be heated until steaming prior to being consumed. It's important to thoroughly wash all raw fruits and vegetables and avoid soft fresh cheeses like brie, feta, and blue cheese unless the package states that it's a pasteurized product. It's also important to avoid unpasteurized milks and fruit juices and any food products that may contain them.